control and coordination animals nervous system hello friends welcome to today's class in our previous class we have learned many important things about life processes and how it involves in the maintenance of living organisms in today's class let us learn about control and coordination in our earlier class we have learned that movement is an indication of life process but sometimes movement associates with growth like seed germination and some other times it doesn't associate with growth like movement of sunflower in case of animals or human beings most of the movements are in response to changes in the environment example when we touch a hot body we withdraw hand immediately we detect the change of the hot body and respond to it by moving hand away from hot body to protect from burnt any movement in response to environment is controlled by a system in the body for example when we are in class if we want to speak to a friend generally we speak in lower voice or whispers rather than shouting why because we can recognize the environment around us in the class here movement is whether to whisper or shout and the environment is class therefore control movement must be connected to recognition of various events in environment followed by correct movement in response for example when you are climbing stairs how can you manage to climb without falling usually when we climb anything we try to take support of something with or without our knowledge in this case support we take is a controlled movement in response to stairs by recognizing the environment that we may fall if we don't take support have you ever wondered how all these activities works in such coordination in perfect compatibility with control over the movements that's all due to functioning of our nervous system perfectly all these activities are controlled and managed by the nervous system now let us discuss about the nervous system in animals in detail and let us learn a few more interesting things as we learned earlier based on body organization in multicellular organisms specialized tissues and specialized system are involved to perform these functions in animals control and coordination are performed by nervous and muscular system let us discuss how nervous and muscular system coordinates with each other for example if you need to pick an object from the ground then how will you pick it we need to focus on the object then bend our backbone that is vertebral column then bend your legs finally hands have to pick and fingers have to grasp it here we can find how many organs are coordinated in such a small activity the vertebral column legs eyes hands and even fingers when all they together coordinates then an activity can be completed how nervous system detects the change in the environment or recognizes the information in environment it can recognize or detect with the help of special cells of nervous system called as neurons which respond to stimuli and coordinates with their activity a system made up of nerve cells is called as nervous system